Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Here we go. In today's video you will find out how the price of EOS has changed and what the technical indicators SMA, RSI, Divergence and MACD are showing. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. Looking at the EOS hourly time frame, the price moved down with around 2.6% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 1.18. The fact that the sellers are taking over can be deduced because the volume was high and the move was strong. Moving to the hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 200 and the 100 SMA. If the price bounces off the 200 SMA which is currently at 1.16 it could be seen as a support and the 100 SMA that is at 1.2 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Pointedly, the current price is above the 200 SMA, which is perceived as a strong support. Nevertheless, if there were to be a decisive downward dip, it will signal a possible big move down. Jumping to the hourly relative strength index, the current hourly RSI is at 36, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Looking for divergence in the hourly time frame, owing to the bearish divergence, the price has already gone down. Looking at the hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Jumping to the three hourly simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 50 and the 20 SMA. If the price bounces off the 50 SMA which is currently at 1.18 it could be seen as a support and the 20 SMA that is at 1.2 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Jumping to the 3 hourly relative strength index, the current 3 hourly RSI is at 45, so there are currently no signs of the crypto being overbought or oversold. On the lookout for divergences in the 3 hourly time frame, owing to a bearish divergence, the price could go down from now on or at least remain stable for the time being. Jumping to the 3 hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. We can expect for the price to continue going down or perhaps remain at least stable because the MACD histogram shows the momentum currently being strong. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, the current price is above all simple moving averages for this time interval, which looks bullish and it is to watch if the closest SMA, the 50 SMA could hold support or the price will break it to the downside below the current price of around 1.14. Jumping to the daily relative strength index, the current daily RSI is at 53, so it doesn't show signs of overbought or oversold conditions at this point. Moving to the daily MACD, the MACD line is above the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the upside. As we can see from the MACD histogram, the momentum is indecisive at this moment. This means that we can expect for the price to remain the same for some time and you should wait and for the MACD line to cross the signal line. This will mean it's bearish. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short-term trading. Thanks for watching. New videos are uploaded every few hours analyzing various cryptocurrencies, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. If there is something that you didn't understand, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you. You should know that trading with cryptocurrencies is very risky and these videos are only an overview of what happens with the price and a pure technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. So you should read more and make your own investing decisions. See you next time. Next time.